we're also not really addressing the LGBTQ community who, and that's where I say like feminine and masculine traits, which you can define that, you know, nurturing feminine or whatever. Lesbian couples sometimes it's not gender one, exclusive. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm trying he, to say. They know that. Yeah, no. So, I, so I'm saying uh, when we're talking about like alpha male and alpha female, I mm-hmm. think that what we're talking about is relationship dynamics, mm-hmm. and that somebody needs to be the provider and somebody needs to be the nurturer. That's the way. It well, works. that's why you always see sub. That's why. Yeah. yeah in, le- in lesbian couples, there's. Mm-hmm. In, I don't want to get canceled right now, but it's typically <laughs> well, like. The prettier feminine one, well, and then the like the power butch, dynamics the work. butcher, masculine you know, short haired lesbian sti- one. Masculine and feminine will still, ex- it's a human condition. It mm-hmm. will still exemplify itself or manifest itself even in homosexual re- relationships. Mm-hmm. There's it's the a butch, compliment. there's the butch dyke, and then there's the feminine lipstick. sub dyke. Yeah, the lipstick one. Lipstick right? lesbian. And, and so it. one assumes the masculine role. Hell, there was mm-hmm. a, what was it? A, I think it was Oprah Winfrey was doing a show a way, way back about like sexual fluidity in women. And suddenly they go like from like being 39, 40, 41 years old, somewhere around there. And they suddenly discover that they're lesbians and they can't, they can't get, well, they can't find a dominant masculine man to be part of their lives. And so what they do is they look for a dominant masculine butch female to be, to sort of fulfill that role. And the reason why she was doing that show was because it was so common that she Mm -hmm. had to, they wanted to address that. And the problem that that you run into is then, is she born that way? Or is she just pushed into that position because of her circumstances and her situation? What do you think the answer is? That that's the, the jury's still out on that. Well, according people, well, to Lady Gaga, she yeah, was born that. Well, way. somebody, yeah, exactly. So, um, I mean, if you're going to ask me personally, I think that it's a behavioral uh, response to mm. to conditions more than after anything 40 else. years. You just realize <laughs> yes. there's got to be some sort of uh, sexual fluidity. But like, we it still can't just be I'm well, straight and now I'm gay. It's, you know, yeah. Well, that's the thing is though is okay. Well, if that's fine, then do I get to say well suddenly I'm gay and then I'm not gay today or whatever? Is it the subjective definition for whatever you feel, or is it are you is it a biological condition because mm. Up to this point, we that's all we've been saying. I was born this way. My genetics, I can't help feel but the way I do. And I, I believe them. But I think it's behavioral, not necessarily a genetic thing. It's a okay. Tr- yeah. Well, Tyler, thank you for the question. 